You use way too many napkins. <laughs> napkins and chapkin. You use the chapstick and napkins while I'm papkin. Flapping around like a papkin. Oh gosh. Why the little battery alert popped up? That just ruined the whole thing. Oh man. But that oh I think it's on the same thread. It's just a reply to it. Y'all using way too many napkins. Okay, thank you so much, Jared Blaze, for gifting the sub to Ryan JC. Thank you so much. That means that I got to match that because we're matching subs tonight until I'm go I go broke. So let's see. Who's going to be the winner of the matching sub? Excuse me. Who is going to be the winner of the matching sub? Oh, it is Dead Mango. Dead Mango just got a sub. Thank you so much, Dead Mango, for being here. Ugh. We're matching subs until I can't do it anymore. Wow. All new subs, that is. Because yeah. <clears throat> y'all using way too many napkins. Four, three, two, one. That beat went with I, I knew a beat would go with it. It doesn't even have to be in time with it. I knew it was going to go with it. Yeah, man, enjoy those emotes. And if you decide to re-up your sub, starting tomorrow, I believe, uh, you can re-up your sub for a dollar. That's part of September. I think that starts tomorrow. Fuel so all active gifted subs through September can be re-up for a dollar for the next month. It's part of September. Are we in the 60s yet? No. Oh, we're in 50s now. We're 59 jumps. We took a big chunk out of these jumps. Started at, what, 81? <laughs> Y'all using way too many napkins. Lay Pie God, what's up, buddy? Welcome. How far is Gnosis? 1700 light years, I think, from where I was. About 1700 light years. Four, three. So it's a nice little skip. One, engage. Nice little skip and hop away. Y'all using way too many napkins. I, that's gonna that uh, I, my, you, you messed up, babe. That's gonna get that's gonna get repeated about a hundred times tonight alone. I'm gonna go up at McDonald's or something, walk in and be like, "Get the pamp pampers, scamp at the pamp pampers. You get the whopper junior, your junior, your punya. Y'all using way too many napkins." They be like, "What's wrong with this guy? He thinks he's Eminem." <clears throat> I've been out of Elite since the end of Opulence, so I had no idea about the new stuff that's going on now. <laughs> I just sneeze. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, um, uh, Guardians, uh, I'm sorry, Beyond Chapter 3 added a new Four, ship called three, the... Um, two, one, engage. Uh, my brain is rattled. That sneeze messed me up. Uh... We got the Challenger or Crusader. There's a new ship called the Crusader. So they added a new ship this patch, and also they added some Guardian modules and I'm sorry, some Guardian fighters. So and Guardian sights and Guardian beacons and all kinds of Guardian stuff. You could it's safe to say that this patch was heavily, heavily Guardian focused. Fuel scoop disengaged. <sighs> Yeah, black doesn't work, by the way. Uh, let's see. Is this command still? Yeah, if you want to see all the colors, those are the colors. Jump. Assuming direct control. Lol. Just kidding. We go fast now. Four, three, two, one. You're trying to match my screen. I should I should turn that program on for a while. I have a program that allows me to change my lights to match the colors on my screen. Y'all using way too many napkins. That's actually a good uh That's actually a good exercise and just ad living. 
If you could just imitate Eminem for a good five minutes without stopping. Just create pampers, you can't pampers, you can't tanses. If you can't tanses, tan it on the tanny. <laughs> just start making up words. <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> no, it's on my end, yeah. <clears throat> They're actual lights. <clears throat> Philips Hue lights. It's not OBS. Yeah, it's Philips Hue lights, so they're actually changing the light bulb colors. I'm gonna get some uh, LED lights soon to put behind me. That way it'll be a little bit more dramatic instead of just in front of me. Um, and I'm probably gonna change the camera angle. Y'all using way too many napkins. Fuel scooping. Fuel scoop disengaged. Yeah, this is the name of the program. It's called uh, Lumia. Lumia for uh, Twitch. It works with Mixer. It works with YouTube gaming as well. Tay hey, Lute, thank you so much for the host. Um, it's got some other stuff. It allows, uh, I mean, this alert right here, the flashing lights is from a uh, host. So you can tie it into host uh, Twitch hooks, like hosts, subs, bits, tips, all that kind of stuff. And you can make your lights do several effects. Uh, like, uh, let's see. Can I do these now? Like, can I just test these? Um, I think I could go to alert settings and do, no, that's not that. Like different reactions. I think that's on the other thing. Hold on. If I go here. And Mr. Gamer with the host. Everybody showing some love in the chat. <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. I don't know where it is. It was somewhere where you can pick them. How you doing, Mr. Gamer? Welcome, dude. I was just showing off the light stuff. Use settings. No, that's not it. Here's where I can define uh, custom colors. So I can add some custom colors here and test colors. Is there a test? I don't know. Do, 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 do. All right, minimizing this. I made Buenos Room go disco. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, I think the threshold for disco is like 10, 10 uh, hosts. 10 viewer hosts. How you doing, Mystic, man? How's it going? What kind of lights do you use for those lighting effects? They're called Philips uh, Hue lights. Four, three, two, lights enabled. One. Engage. So, if you search for Philips Hue, let's see, Hue lights, uh, should be like meethue.com or something. Make sure I don't burn up here. Fuel scooping. They're kind of expensive though. Like the starter kit was like 150. It comes with a hub. Once you get a hub, you're set though. You can just st start buying light bulbs and put them all around your house. There's a mobile app where I can control the lights. <laughs> it was still on my phone. Um, there's an app on my phone which allows me to change the, the lights. So I've got all these different settings. Like this one's called Savannah Sunset. This one's called Tropical Twilight. This one's called Arctic Aurora. Ooh, it's like a blue and cyan. There's Spring Blossom. Relax. Read. Concentrate. Energize. Bright. Dimmed. And then there's a Nightlight. Ah! 
And I can make new scenes. It's got a color wheel too. That I can just drag it across. I'll wait for this to go away. It's got a color wheel that I can just like... Do this. Oh, there we go. Put over here to the orange. Down here to the blue. Over here to the purple. Wait, the purple's over here. Purple. Yeah. There we go. Yep, that's how it works. And with the Philips stuff, you can get not only... I got bulbs now. Just two bulbs where my normal lights used to be. But you can get LED strips. Um, I got to show you guys this program. While, while I'm demoing this, this program is amazing. We're going to turn off Lumia for a second so your commands won't work. Um... We're going to turn off Lumia for a second. And what's it called? Um I'm looking for the app. I don't. I have the app installed, but I don't remember its name. Isn't that funny? Do, 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 do. It's not called Jeff, although that would be a good name. <laughs> Screen Bloom. That's the name of it. Check this out. I'm gonna show you guys the, the the web page first. Um, but if you look at this, just imagine this in your living room. You can put the lights, put some LED strips behind your TV, and whatever is on the TV, the colors behind the TV will change based on what's on the screen. As it's stupid cool. It's really cool. It's it's actually crazy. So if I start Screen Loom here, I can't run Screen Loom and Lumia because they conflict. One is trying to, they're both trying to interact with the hub. Um, okay, so now, let's see. I can click start, I think. There it goes. <laughs> so this is Elite Dangerous where I'm in space. And I think space is black. Now we're gonna we're gonna jump and we're gonna go to a star and let's 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 see how it changes based on based on what's on my screen. Four, three, two, one. Yeah, they're building that in the TVs too. They're building that in the TVs. See how the light see how it's changing based on what's on the screen? It doesn't stay one color. It just, it reads what's on the screen. You can adjust the sensitivity and stuff. A star, a star. Isn't that cool? Fuel scooping. See, Elite Dangerous is a very dark game. So it's like, it's kind of to be expected that this is a... But you can see it changing. As I'm going away from the star, it's getting darker in here. For full immersion, chat. For full immersion. Jump. Sure. External view. See how the stars went by, how it got brighter? I'll tell you, man, if it weren't for those commands, I would probably leave this on all the time. It's so cool. It's so cool, man. It's so cool. Wanna, is it cool? I don't know. It might be. Whoop! Mm. Fuel 
sleeping. You can blame I am Spoon for showing me this stuff. Because I was going to get lights. I've been trying to get lights for years. I was like, I want the Philips Human light. The thing that I wanted to do, I just wanted them to, to react to like alerts and stuff. I didn't know all this stuff existed. I was just like, I, I just didn't know that this stuff existed until Spoon told me. I was like, Ooh. I, I kind of made that noise a little bit. So watch my camera when the stars, like right when I'm jumping, you know how the stars come forward? Watch the camera kind of light up a little bit. Four, Watch it now. Three, two, one, engage. <laughs> Immersion chat. All right, I'll turn it off now. But that's uh, that's screen bloom, and it integrates really easily. Like you can denote which bulbs do what. Like you can have bulb groups and stuff. So if you got bulbs, if you got these bulbs all throughout your house, I know Kashi was telling me that he's got them all. He's got them all throughout his house, and he has them tied to Alexa. But I, I don't do that Alexa stuff. So um, he's got them tied to Alexa, and it's just all voice activated. And he has, I think he said he has a motion detector. So when he walks in the room, the lights will turn on, that kind of stuff. So he's got a full automated system over there. So we're going to turn off screen bloom now. It's cool stuff, man. Oh, sorry to hear. So I'm going to switch it, stop it. So screen bloom is off now. And I'll put uh, Lumia back on. And <laughs> think I'm a bot started successfully. I dare you to say Alexa fart. Low. Jump. Pushing the go fast button, Commander. Command should work now. Two, Let me check. One, engage. Maroon. Yep. Y'all too y'all using way too many napkins. I messed it up. Will you forgive me, chat? Fuel scooping complete. Dude, we're only 50 jumps away. We're only 50 jumps away, chat. All right, Mofu, thanks for coming by, man. Fuel scooping. Thanks for showing me that Rebel Galaxy Outlaw stuff. Yeah, man, I'm going to be all over that. I hope you enjoyed it. Fuel scoop disengaged. Jump. Pushing the go fast button, Commander. Yeah. Three, I've always been two, a big proponent, one, a big oh. Engage. Restart Lumia, new up, new version. I've always been a big person. I love technology stuff. It's not the technology that I hate. It's the motivations behind the people that abuse that technology, and it goes unchecked. If this stuff went checked, and it had proper 
you know, proper things in place to prevent abuse, then I'd, I'd probably be all over this stuff. But sadly, it doesn't. And people just... They just take your data and do whatever they want with it. Fuel scoop disengaged. That's why I don't use them. Bug fixes for donation variations. Bug fixes for subscription tiered variations. Bug fix for counting. Lumi user as a mod highest priority. Okay. Jump. Aligning potatoes with the Super Cruise Vector Cabin. Watch your feet. I mean, it's getting to the point to where you just have to mitigate it. You just have to minimize it because there's so many devices in, that we have now Four, where you can three, be tracked, where they can two, listen, one, to where you can't engage. stop all of them unless you go completely off grid. You just have to try to minimize it. And that's what I try to do. I try to minimize that stuff. Oh, no, 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 no. Not like this. There we go. Fuel scooping. Uh, no, I think I'm good. Fuel scoop disengaged. You see that lawsuit about uh, what Google's going through? Where you disable, you explicitly disable location tracking. But they still were tracking location through app application settings. And they were sitting in and selling it to people. And it is, it's like I said, it's, it's, it's the it's the motivations behind these people. They hide this stuff. They don't tell you about it. It's not the technology itself that I, I'm 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 concerned about. It's the it's their motivations. Four, three, two, one, engage. Like I said, you just try to you just try to mitigate it and minimize it. Like I'm not giving up my cell phone, but I turn off location tracking, I turn off listening stuff, I turn off all the things that could potentially be abused, but I'm not dumb. I know that there's probably some stuff that they're hiding. It comes out all the time. It's just all you disable stuff and they just they still are collecting your stuff, so. And the attitude these days is that people are generally, you know, apathetic about it they don't care i look at it like this Fuel scoop disengaged. i feel uncomfortable if me and my wife are sitting watching tv and somebody's looking through the window watching us we're not doing anything wrong we have nothing to hide but get your face out of my window and look at what we're doing and talking about that's called privacy it's not it's not it's it's really not like uh people think it's like what's the word i'm looking for um paranoia like you're hiding something you're trying no it's just good old-fashioned privacy i don't want you looking at what we're doing Four, don't you mind your own business three, two, one. Engage. so there's this idea of having privacy without having anything to hide that people don't understand a lot of times so google does it apple does it, everybody i mean they're all doing it and Facebook is the one getting, they're being made an example of right now. But I don't, I'm going to be real with y'all. I don't think that's going to go anywhere. I think right now it's just a big show. I think it's just a big show. I don't think it's going to go anywhere. And they're going to continue business as usual. Fuel scoop disengaged. Because your data sells for a lot of money. People want your data. Yep, so Four, three, two, one, engage. That's the age we live in. It's getting worse too. It's getting worse. Like I said, man, like if you look at like here's a here's a case I'm talking about, like like uh, smart watches. I think smart watches are people make fun of them, but I think they're some of the coolest tech I've seen in a long time. Mostly for the health, health the health reasons, and they can do some really good stuff for people. 
And then you got the idiots who are going to abuse it. It's like all that health data, all that stuff can really help you lead a much more healthier life. Counting your steps, telling you you need to get up, all that kind of stuff. It's really good deck, it's really Four, good data three, for you two, to improve your lifestyle. Okay. But there's somebody on the other end who is going to abuse that crap and sell the data. Or use it to for malice. That's that's the thing, man. It's the people behind it. It drives me nuts. I'm like, you got a perfectly good piece of technology here and you're going to ruin it. For everybody. It, it really stinks because the tech... I, I guarantee you, man. I, I bet there's a high chance all the people who invented this tech, they invented it for those positive reasons. They're like, this is going to change people's lives. They're going to be able to monitor their heart rates. They're going to be able to be more active. They're going to be able to, you know, prevent heart attacks. It's going to save lives. Like, yes, this technology is great. Now give it to me. <laughs> I'm going to use that data for research. Yes. You know, it's just, it's the evil behind that stuff that drives me crazy. Because it's such a good intention that gets ruined by evil. Because I like the, like the Fitbit. I bought one of those, you know, and I, it was actually useful. And then I stopped using it. But that stuff, man, is useful. It's useful to track that information. I mean, it's it's it's, it's a useful from a convenience standpoint because you could do it yourself. Prior to that technology being a thing, you could walk out a mile outside and say, "Okay, if I walk this every day, I'm good." You know. So it's not like we absolutely have to have it. It's just a, a it's a really awesome convenience. But it just stinks. I hate evil people, man. Fuel scooping complete. Evil people ruin good technology. Almost every single time. And notice I say evil people, not evil companies. Because I, I, I actually don't believe... Like people call companies evil. I'm like Four, this. Three, two, one. Engage. There's people behind that stuff. It's a handful of people that call the shots that make companies seem evil. Fuel scooping. See, I want to believe those reports that Apple doesn't sell or, you know, all the stuff that we've been told. I want to believe that. Fuel but <laughs> it's hard to. It's hard to trust anybody with monetary interest with the data. It really is. Oh, what? What? Four. I can't even type to him. Two, one, engage. Like, I want to believe all the stuff that we've been told, but I, I just trust that there's things that we're not being told that can change the entire story. That's my assumption in a lot of situations. It's a very pessimistic attitude. I'm a happy man. It doesn't make me miserable, but it it just makes me pessimistic about almost everything if it's connected to the i mean we were taught this when the internet first came out if it's on the internet everybody can see it encrypted or not somebody's gonna see it <laughs> so <laughs> cloud stuff i mean when it all comes down to it somebody can see it so you have to really really just I guess the word is just assume that. No, so. Jump. You got it, Commander. Because I want a smartwatch. I really do. But that kind of stuff prevents me from getting it. Because there's so many benefits I can get from it. But it's like I don't want to put my data at risk. Four, three, two. Because knowledge is definitely one, power. And people. Engage. They think that their data being sold is, is harmless, but 
It's not always all the time. It could be used against you. <laughs> 